Vaccination, vaccinated nation. It's time to open up and have a proper vacation. <laughs>
We have just hey, arrived. Am I? You're okay to be on the music <laughs> gym? Yes. Is all about social, right? Hi. This is Tori, and we are with Allison, who is Franco, is one of his best friends. He actually Your was just here. My oh now. my god! Come what? Oh my god! Come what? We're gonna do a little um, Allison Park uh, music festival later. So she's I gonna was gonna say, yeah, we ha you gotta perform for a channel. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> she wants to get compensated. That's the best. We don't get compensated properly. Yes. No, we're uh, gonna we have to. We can only give you four thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> we can only give you four thousand dollars. I know that's a lot I lower literally than. Literally take that in a second. <laughs> I now live in Madison, but okay. in two weeks I'm moving to Midtown. Oh. Midtown? You're going to be a Midtown girl? Yeah, for two months. Oh. Yeah. What's two months? Is it a sublet? I just don't know where I'm going at. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's just like kind of going with the flow. No, but the water landlord kicked us out. Oh, were you a naughty roommate? Or naughty Wait, who kicked tenant? you out? Somebody kicked you out of your Our home? My landlord. Why? Because uh, we... they're selling the house. Oh, uh, I thought it's because your noise complaints just were asking. Yeah, we had too many parties. That's really what it was. That's, oh my Brian goodness. knows what that is. I, I never really just wanted to wear flat shoes. I'm very... But these are my favorite. Set. But I just do not want to wear these. But do you want to switch? Can Maybe I jam my... I don't know where I'm going to get here. Those shoes, I love those shoes. These those are, are great. amazing. Yeah, I'm not going to offer a switch, but... I know you're not. Oh, is that what you were trying to go with? You were going to try to switch with her? No, I think her feet are smaller than mine. Yeah, okay. I'm a six and a half. Oh, hell no. Oh, you're a baby feet. Oh, baby feet. So, Tori, tell me a little bit about what's going on in that show. Are you like a singer-songwriter as well? No, sure. Oh. Are you in the hospitality industry? I am. Oh, so you know how to sling some good cocktails? I do, but I'm a, uh, right now I work at Jason Aldi's and everything, like the whole restaurant group. Yeah. I'm the event sales coordinator. Oh, so she's a little corporate girl. Mm -hmm. I feel that. But I just finished up my bartending. <gasps> So they just, be able to mix. They just offered my well, they just offered me my job back what a month ago. Did they awesome. furlough you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Sure. These yeah, are like a lot here. of things that I'm learning. This like, is part of the reopening. The lift begins <laughs> and it begins with Tori getting her bartending job back. <laughs> like I, I once went to an interview for a reality TV show, but I just thought it was like to meet somebody. I didn't know I was going to interview for a reality yeah. TV show. So I walked in the door and I sat down and the guy beside me is like, you nervous? And I was like, why would I be, what's going on? And he was like, <laughs> you know, for the reality TV show. And I was like, I'm not doing that. And then, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. And he was like, well, that's what this is. And I was like, uh, what? what? And so I roll back to meet this, this, <laughs> this lady who is actually one of my really good friends now. And we're sitting there, and she's just asking me all these questions. And I was like, yeah, can I ask you a question? What is this for? <laughs> and she was like, a reality TV show about, like, musicians, like, making their way in uh, Hollywood. And I was like, yeah, I don't want to do that. And she was like, <laughs> you she don't like, want to do that, right? She was like, honestly, that's, like, one of the most honest things I've ever heard. And she uh, was yeah. just like, I would love to help you out. But, like, yeah, you're just too nice for this. I was like, yeah, I didn't know I was doing this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boy, you should know, you should know, you should know better. If you're gonna play with fire, someone's gonna get burned. If you're gonna be alive, someone's gonna get learned. If you break what you take, then you pay for the damage. You should know, you should know thing where it was like I want to do sketch comedy and it's like I and it's like you're literally like 
it's sponsored programming. So it's like something to, you're paying to do make these segments and then you're promoting something. Right. And I've never done anything. Like I came from finance and they were like, we think you'd be really funny and interesting. Yeah. So I get involved and it's really was the catalyst that started the rope and everything. Yeah. But like then I'm, when I'm talking to one of the producers of it and, and he's like, you know, we, we should do this and we can get you. And, and it was all this stuff. And then I'm like, Listen, I don't want just fame for fame's sake. Like, I want to do something creative. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to just, like, do any. You know what I mean? And it was, like, I just And they thought that like was crazy. Fame is actually toxic. But, like, if you're doing something creative and you get fame as a byproduct, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. But, like, yeah, some... I, I, and, but the thing was, they were like, we can do this. We can get you with, like, some, like, influencers. And, and, and they've got millions of followers. And I'm like, but... And get me to do what? Like, and they're like... Yeah, yeah. And they're like, we'll talk stocks if I'm like, that's not really that interesting. Like, I'm happy to bring stocks into it if it's on my own terms and it's something creative. You know what yeah. I mean? So I get like, it's, I love that. You said, like, I don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, they. Well, they make sense. Well, okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hey, make up this story so that you can get on here and like you know try the only thing I ever wanted to do was music so like there right. was no reason in my mind to need to have like some crazy story to right and they know they want to cook one up yeah. yeah and they do because I mean that's what sells it like when people I mean you even find it down here on Broadway when they're Oh, like, you know, when I'm working at Jason's and they'll be like, oh my gosh, like, how often does he come in here? Like, are you like friends with his wife? And I'm like, no. <laughs> you know, you <laughs> in Nashville. I think it's downtown. The Nash Collection. Perfect. What? What you say? What you say? I love it. Actually, this group right here. Yeah. Check it out, Frank. Look at the diner. So wait, what did you say, Allison? That each floor is like... each floor like has different food. Like one floor is like seafood and one floor is like sushi and... Like, no way. And it, is it all the same like owner? I don't know. How are all the cuisines? Is there one cuisine that's known for being the best or... Don't they have like rattlesnake pasta? Yes, rattlesnake pasta. Yeah. Let's get it. Okay, yeah, I will be avoiding rattlesnake pasta. Allison. I'm like, I'm obsessed with her a little bit already. Like, her and Tori, they both have amazing energy, dude. Like, I'm just like watching her the whole time. Like, I can just listen to her and like watch her smile. And she just has proper star quality. This girl has star quality. That's what everybody That's told what her. And I um, yeah, I'm so excited. They're like, the energy is just incredible. And even being in the Apparently, city, this is a. Uh, <laughs> This is vlog being vlogged. Oh, I hope no. that's okay. Yeah, I know, 100%. We're in LA right now, so everything must be documented. Oh, right. I've known him since the sixth grade. And this is his man. I'm his man. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. With a Y. You know that LA vlog Yeah. Wait, what did she say about getting your soul? It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. I thought, 
So you guys flew here just for the bachelorette party? Yeah. Oh, why did you pick Nashville? Because it's lit. Yes, it is. I've been here for two, uh, three hours and I'm like, it's so lit. And you guys are amazing. We can here it Thursday through Tuesday. Okay. Lots of drinking days. Um, but have you eaten at this taco place? This was amazing. Yeah, we just got done. We're yes. at the bar now having drinks. Yes, it's so good. Um, Who is your maid of honor? <laughs> yeah, what's your name? Ashley, and so what do you do? What do you, what crazy things did you do for the bachelorette party? Did you organize anything insane? Uh, we, can you put this on your? Sure. Venmo the bride. Okay. Yep. And we'll buy you a drink. Yeah. I'm gonna Venmo you. Okay, okay I will yeah. absolutely. That's the least I can do. And then we did a pontoon. They did a part. How was the, with the pontoon? What was that like? They had a slide. It was a double decker pontoon. They had a, uh, a lily pad. Okay. And it poured rain. And <laughs> we thought we were blessed. Yeah, we oh were no, blessed. that's a good. We said, how sad is it that people like in third <laughs> countries don't even get water and we are in the middle of a rainstorm. I love that you appreciated that. We no, water is a commodity. Yeah. It is a, there's it's seriously. So sad it, people actually don't have water. But even in this country, there's a lot of issues going on with water. And yeah. they're talking about Arizona. Like, the, yeah, the reservoirs are like crazy. It's, it's insane. Yeah, there's a shortage. Oh my god, we just went from like, I thought we were going to talk about strippers, but we're talking about water shortages in the country. <laughs> this is an amazing bachelor party, I love this. So what is, what do you guys do for the rest of the night? Anything fun? Broadway. Broadway. What place are you guys going to? Maybe we'll stop over. There's like four of us. I know, this is as far as I got. Okay, there's about 80 bars. Uh, I can't really tell you which one we'll be at, well, but you, we'll be You guys will not be missable, so I'm going to look out for you guys. Ask Vegas. Yes. Vegas. Awesome, ladies. Have a good congratulations on your Thank wedding. You. Yeah. Thank you guys for being a part of this. Yeah. You're all gorgeous. Thank you. Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Wait, what's your YouTube uh, The Bro Pit. It's the Road called Pit? The Bro Pit. B R O. The yeah, okay. The Bro Pit. Thank you. Yeah, subscribe, yeah. please. I'm, I'm sitting next to Randy and the bartender. It's pretty what, hot. Randy, bar you look really good. Stop hitting on Randy. Get out of here and give me my. I beer. mean, you've been told that before, right? That's uh, it. You know, it's not it's, it's a brand. Isn't it Brandon? Brandon. Brandon. Oh, it's Brandon. Okay, sorry. Brandon. It's Brandon Parsons. Parsons. So, I was sitting next to Brandon, mentioned the bartender that I live in here and play really just like a rolling rock or a course light when it comes to beers. And Brandon goes, hell yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah. So, you gotta have like a crisp, fresh beer, you know. So, that. Exactly. So then I, I mean, asked. It's no Stein. But... It's no Stein. <laughs> no Stein from Oktoberfest, but it'll have to do. So <laughs> Brandon, oh, Brandon then said that I asked him where he lived. He mentioned Chattanooga, which I immediately related to the Golden Girls, where Blanche always had Blanche never always had a story. I almost got arrested in Chattanooga for that. And Dorothy goes, "Is there anything you didn't know? I must get arrested for in Chattanooga." Anyway, so now Brandon, tell us your story a little bit. Alright, I moved here like uh, 11 years ago, and it's been great. Nashville's a fantastic city to live in. Uh, again, I'm from Chattanooga. It's a great little city. It's quaint, it's chill, it's got Tennessee River that runs through it. Uh, it's kind of in a bowl of uh, small mountains, so it's kind of like down lower. Um, there's a lot of nature activities to do, uh, so you can get out and about, go paddleboarding on the, uh, on the river. Go biking in the mountains, hiking in the mountains. I need to go on the Tennessee River. Yeah. Oh my god. Kayaking? Yeah. Franco, kayaking on the Tennessee River. Okay, what about music? Are you a music fan? I mean, everybody loves music. I don't know. I've met some people that are like, ah, I can take it really good. And I'm always shocked by that. I'm more of the instrumentalist type of person. I want, uh, 
like the actual physical music of it. Uh, love the lyrics, don't get me wrong, but... You're into the instruments and... Instruments is real exactly. So you're not exactly a fan of electronic music, like you're done. I mean, I like it like but it's like, I want to physically build a music. Do you like going to like, like, if you go to like the Philharmonic and stuff like that, where you can like... Yeah. I've gone to, we went to, in London, there was, um, they would, they would, they would play a movie and they would have a live orchestra doing the score. It was incredible. You drive up to, they would play the music, so they would shut the audio off. And you, and the, you would watch the movie, but whenever the music was played, it was played by this huge live orchestra. It was incredible. It was outdoors and the big high bar and stuff. But you'd probably appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like your thing. Absolutely. Do you play it? No, no, I'm terrible. Like, I like to think I can play like a uh, evil cell from the sky. What is that? Wait, it is a five dollar bill. These are five dollar bills. I have three fives. I have three fives on the belt. It literally just fell from the sky. You've got to be kidding me. Are they five? I have three $5 bills. I don't know if they're counterfeit, but I'll take $15. That's crazy. <laughs> Money just fell from the sky, and I, we, everyone thought, is this real money? And it's, I've got $50. Hello, Nashville. Okay, wait a second. Her name is Bailey, but Coco Nips, you're going to be a nurse one day. I'm going to be a nurse one day. And what would you say to somebody who's in ICU, yeah. who people are feeling a bit like, if they're feeling a bit shit and they just had a, say they just had an open heart surgery, and you come in with your clipboard, what would you say, you think? She's alive, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> 4,500. <laughs> the broken is alive and well. Kid Rock, how can you tell Monday night. This is the home of the Bushwhacker. Have you been Bushwhacked lately? Never. It says. What does being Bushwhacked mean? You don't want to know. <laughs> Guys, what does being Bushwhacked mean? Who wants to answer? It means oh my god. Look up on a plushie. I really want to Want something that tastes like a frosty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, do we have to get bushwhacked? Yes! Wait, it sounds like there are many definitions of being bushwhacked. I love bushwhacked. Look, it says, have you been bushwhacked lately? Oh my god, that is so And I haven't gotten a clear definition of what that means. Oh my god, you are so aggressive! I was gonna see if Lola was in there because I just did the last one. We're seeing bushwhacked. I think we might need two episodes for Nashville, and we're not even, we've just been here for five hours. It's amazing. Country, when country wasn't cool. Oh, sing. Who sings oh. that? Cause I was country, when country wasn't cool. Wow. That's somebody sings that song. Yes, yeah, somebody does. Imagine country music, television, TMT, y'all.